thing is at, from the Arkema plant. Yeah, the. Uh, 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 Arkham a plant Crosby, in Crosby. Crosby, right. This guy, too, has been uh, over this scene in the background. We've been uh, monitoring a live feed from the Harris County Sheriff, uh, Ed Gonzalez. Uh, the, apparently, there was a release of some different organic peroxides that produced a, a popping sound and released some gray smoke. Um, some, some deputies had breathed that stuff in, uh, about 10 or so of them. Uh, thankfully, I guess, the... the um, those peroxides, those chemicals were non-toxic, uh, but nonetheless irritating enough to the deputies uh, that they had to go to the hospital, Rachel, because of this. And that's how all of this kind of got started this morning around one o'clock. Exactly. So we're hearing an estimate of about 10 to 15 people believed to be taken to the hospital, including deputies complaining of that eye and nose irritation. They were in the area holding the perimeter down. Three deputies should be released soon if they have not yet already. Now, we've also been hearing that there was visible smoke. This is from my witness there, visible smoke, some 30 to 40 feet in the air. Air monitoring is being conducted by the contractor there at that plant trying to determine where the smoke might go. So there's about a mile and a half safety zone around the plant. They say that that is adequate and that the process will continue. Yeah, so a mile and a half safety zone would, would be uh, helpful there because I guess they don't know exactly what's in the air or whatever it was. Thankfully, is non-toxic, uh, but it did irritate the deputies enough to send them to the hospital. The other issue, of course, is that you know just getting through with the, with the storm the way we have. Uh, from what I understand, a lot of folks in that area could have, should have evacuated. We can get more on that from our Haley Hernandez, who has been reporting live close to the scene. Haley, I assume now they've pushed you back. Well, you know what, Owen, so last time I was joining you, they were making it sound very urgent. They were like, get back, get back, it's time to get away. So we left uh, and actually went probably about five miles total away from the plant where we met with an Arkema um, Sorry, there's cars coming towards me right now. They, we met with an Arkema plant representative, and uh, I think these are just residents. You know what, trying, they're going to be told to turn around. At first, I th thought this was somebody going to the plant. Somebody from Arkema over there met us, and they said it is not that urgent. It is not like there's going to be an explosion of any kind. They say they are more concerned about this being a public health concern, and they said that as long as we stay a mile and a half from the plant, that we should be fine. So currently, according to my GPS, I am 2.2 miles away from the plant and this is where they've got the barricade set up at Lindstrom and 90 and as you see they are turning people around nobody is allowed near that plant because they're saying that it's the fumes are what's the problem there 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 are chemicals burning and the fumes that it carries that which could travel up to a mile away would send people to the hospital now they say that it is non-toxic but it would burn your eyes and your nose and your throat so you would have to make a hospital visit and we know that's already happened to 10 deputies this morning nine of them them drove themselves to the hospital, um, but one of them is still there. Now, as you were mentioning, we were just listening into a uh, pr uh, somewhat of a press conference to uh with uh, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez and the deputy sheriff, and they say that um, this is a release of different organic peroxides. These are used to make um, things like pharmaceuticals, and then it was producing a popping sound. Now, we, they've already said there were two explosions at 2 a.m. Now they're saying that it was a popping sound because um, it is a, uh, a release of these chemicals. They're saying it is not a controlled release, but they did know that this was going to happen, and they knew that if those chemicals reached a certain temperature because they are supposed to be kept at a low temperature that they would begin to burn. So they were prepared for this and that's why they told uh, residents to evacuate on Tuesday. Everyone is supposed to be gone already, but they're saying that if anybody did not leave and they're in their home, now that these chemicals are burning, they need to shelter in place and turn off the air conditioner. If you can hear me and you did not leave Crosby and you live within 1.5 miles of the plant, shelter in place and turn off your air conditioning. As I mentioned, this is not a danger of the plant exploding, according to Arkema. They said that it is more of a public health concern. So that is why um, that they had to take uh, about 10 to 15 people, they're saying now 10 to 15 people, to the hospital with eye and nose irritation this morning. They don't want that to continue happening to anyone else, and they do not know if anything else could happen. They told me that these chemicals are stored uh, very far away from other chemicals, but of course the deputy sheriff said anything could happen. So we are going to keep an eye on it for you, but again, they're saying this is more of a public health concern, um, so you should not be 
in this area. I'm reporting live in Crosby. Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Haley, thank you for the update. We appreciate it. We will check back in with you shortly.